This week we have the keys to the 710 horsepower Dodge Durango Hellcat. This is going to be properly epic. That's like almost double the horsepower of my Ram 1500. This is gonna be a lot of fun. We've got Leadfoot Gray on the Shelby and this is Destroyer Gray on the Durango. Let's hop in. We're gonna head into the office real quick. Check out this new interior too. New Uconnect screen. We'll look at this way more in depth. Take a look at the window sticker, but this is my first time driving it. So I'm gonna experience what this is like first. minute drive in the Durango Hellcat and the initial impression is this thing is hilariously hilariously unnecessary but it is so awesome it is just absurd but first let's take a look at the window sticker the Hellcat version of the Durango SRTs for the 2021 model year starts at 80,995 and as option this one is 89,665 for just under $90,000 like I said destroyer gray exterior paint it is a 6.2 liter supercharged Hellcat V8 and a bunch of other features but options we have the technology package we have the premium interior group uh, we have the dual stripes up front racing stripes for a total price of just under 90 grand so this is actually forged carbon part of that interior package new uconnect screen we'll dig, a in, dig into that a little bit later adaptive cruise control looks like all right with that i need to run inside this is the Durango Hellcat. It's going to be a really fun week, and it's only going to get better next week because another Hellcat is coming. But the Durango, so much space, so much passenger capacity, so much horsepower. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Leaving work now, and I'm pretty sure I definitely will not have traction anymore despite all-wheel drive, remote start, the car wake up. This thing is... Oh, wait, I don't know why I just did that. It does not have soft-closed doors. All right, the new Uconnect screen. Here's a really cool little detail. The heads on the climate control where the air is going have little race helmets on them. That's pretty, that's cute. And then the temperature slider has a, the Dodge logo, the two slashes, that's pretty cool. Listen to the whine from the supercharger. <laughs> that was just like quarter throttle. I think makes some nice noises. Driving home on a cold, wet, snowy, sleety night. Oh my God. The Durango vlog continues. That's a straight pipe mercy that just started up. Different kind of sound all together. All right, we're heading out. I have 710 horsepower in all wheel drive, but that mercy, oh my God, that's so cool. A little overpass means we got some noises. <laughs> Horsepower is just fun. When you have a Lambo and a Hellcat, even though Mike's not here, you gotta go to Starbucks. Thank you. It's a cold day, but it's sunny out in Chicago. We've got the Hellcat Durango. We have Mike 312 supercars, and somewhere over there we have Shmi 150. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And this here, the world's most powerful SUV, there is a straight pipe Murcielago, and the SLS Black Series hiding in the garage there has winter tires now. The SLS Black Series is absolutely my favorite car in the entire world. Tim also happens to own one, so we have two SLS Black Series owners here, but only one on snow tires, and I'm, I'm so excited about it. Regardless, this Hellcat Durango is, it's hysterically fast and fun. So we're gonna check that out in a second. Mike wants to see it. It is the world's most powerful SUV. It's not the world's fastest SUV because it's bigger and heavier. But... <laughs> Holy <laughs> Holy This thing is absolutely ridiculous. It's so unnecessary, but it is so hilariously awesome. Like, oh my God. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Dodge is like Hellcat engine in every car. Just do 0 to 60. That was a 0 to 60 in 3.7. Alright. 
3.60 to 60. Oh my. All right, this thing is hilarious. Zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds. Tim is about to film something with the Mercy. We moved it over here into the archway. This thing is glorious. Pista SLS Black Series. This thing is on winter tires now. Look at that. That means it will have grip. Still one of my favorite cars in the entire world. Probably the favorite one. You want to see behind the scenes of Shmi filming? <laughs> so you're here. Yeah, what? 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 We lost hey, the hey, 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 hey. So, do you want to say why you're here? What you looked at? I no, 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 I don't know why. You don't know why you're here. I don't know why. You're I'm here, here to enjoy supercars. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And now we can oh, think in here again. Oh. No, I'm waiting for the flybys. Oh, dude. It's gonna oh, be mega. God. Oh yeah. It's oh yes. It's very. It sounds very good. I just failed my parents by doing math wrong. I thought we had eight people. We have nine people. I didn't count Mike. I assumed he would go in the trunk. So we're taking three cars, SLS, Mercy, and I think the A12. But I'm gonna be driving the ultimate family vehicle, the Durango Hellcat. Yes, yes, yes. This thing, I swear, I can watch the gas gauge drop. And the Mercy. Observe Mike's parking skills. They're not always the best. We've been averaging under 10 MPG, which means we need gas. 10 MPG. 10 MPG, it's officially at 9.6. <laughs> what? A vehicle designed for this, two vehicles that are not, we don't typically see, I'm willing to bet, I feel like the Lambo might get stuck. SLS is okay because it's on the right tires. You look so professional with the suit on, the coffee in your hand, and the SLS Black Series. Any words? Hello. It's like that guy who asked everybody, what do you do for a living? Well, this is not my car. <laughs> this is not even my coffee today. <laughs> it is so freaking cold, but this looks really cool. And we might have SLS donuts in a second. <laughs> Oh, yep, yeah, that's that's officially. Oh, okay, that's cool. Don't hit the Drago. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, look at that, look at the snow. <laughs> that is snow donuts in a <laughs> SLS Black Series. Snow nuts. Snow nuts. <laughs> Tim is flying off soon to somewhere much warmer than where we are much, stuck here. Much, much, much warmer. Just, just rub it in, why don't you? Just gloat yeah, about it a little bit. Tomorrow will be shorts, maybe go to the beach. I hope a shark eats you. <laughs> <laughs> not actually, not actually. That was a fun day. That Mercy, as always, sounds absolutely insane. Check out the point of view drive I did of that thing. My eardrums were never the same after that. SLS Black Series is still my favorite car I have ever driven. Mike is my favorite wannabe doctor med student I've ever met before. Tim is my favorite crop frame, crop frame photographer, and Tim number two is my favorite You're British. Favorite. <laughs> my favorite British car YouTuber. I remember watching this dude when I first started YouTube, like, way long ago. Anyways, we'll finish that video. I'll be back into the Hellcat Durango. What did He's you do? <laughs> You're on camera. I blame it on the cold hands. Oh, really? I won't have that problem. Oh, yeah. It is a very cold but sunny day today, and we are taking the Durango Hellcat to get a piece of furniture. I need a new TV stand for the new house. I was calling it a media center and then my coworkers were making fun of me because they said media center sounded dorky. So I'm calling it a TV stand now. That's for you, Ben. Uh, but Durango is immensely practical. I mean, it's enormous. Honestly, with SUVs versus like a truck, if you want to keep something inside out of the elements, the SUV works better because the length is better. My bed on my Ram is only, I think, five foot seven. I have a cover on it, but anything longer than that, you gotta put the cover out and it's exposed to the snow and cold and salt. So this is actually what I was waiting for, a little bit more practicality. We'll test it out, fold the seats down, see how much fits in it. 
Let's take a look at the center Uconnect screen here. We have the various drive modes, auto, sport. It has a track mode, snow, and then there's a custom where you can reconfigure all your different things there. The thing I showed, I think I showed this already, but the climate, there's a little helmet on the guy's head showing the direction of airflow. That is very cool. We have wireless CarPlay. That's what I am running. Um, iPhone is in my pocket somewhere. I think underneath these Dodge Hellcat masks. Yep, there is a wireless charging pad, I think, there. I do have a cable, I don't need that right now. And then we have physical buttons too, which are always nice. Heated cooled seats, heated steering wheel, and then other climate rotary knobs and buttons. And then here we have these toggles. So the SRT toggle brings up that kind of drive mode setup. That's the custom one. There's a launch control, which is awesome. Vehicle must be in gear, but yes, I've done launch control many times. We've showed that. We have traction control, parking, lane keep assist, we'll turn that back off. And then actual forged carbon, that's pretty cool. You got a piece there, piece on the dash there, also on the door. These seats are very comfortable. The Hellcat SRT logo embroidered on the front and back. They bolster you, they hold you in nicely with some bolsters. Launch control in this thing is hysterical. Oh my God, I the fastest I've done, and again, over the last few days, it's been cold, wet, snowy. It's currently 13 degrees out. The best zero to 60 time I've been able to do in this is 3.4, that's with it spinning. I launched it with some snow and a lot of wet on the ground, it had just snowed a lot, and it managed to do a 3.9. Launch control, left the, <laughs> left the line, it spun. I completely let off the gas, got back on it, still pulled a 3.9 to 60. And the most hysterical one is, I did do one where all four tires spun off the line, and if I pull it up on the center screen, let's see if I scroll down, where is the zero to 60 timer? All four tires spun off the line, so it clocked a best of 2.20 to 60. <laughs> I mean, wheel speed hit 60 and 2.2, but it didn't actually be, look at the last one, recent, 3.50 to 60. This is in a full-sized three-row family SUV. I mean, it is the world's most powerful SUV. It is not the world's fastest SUV, but this thing is just, absurd is the only word I can think to describe it. Falling in love with a Durango Hellcat. <laughs> There's some more info here. We have the drive modes we just looked at. We have the race option, so launch control, the shift light, but the really cool stuff also is the performance pages. So power, here look at the timer. So this is that zero to 60 in 2.2 seconds that it clocked, which is obviously not realistic. Uh, 60 foot of 1.21 seconds. None of these numbers are actually accurate because it like spun all four tires, uh, but that's really funny to see that. But this is all really cool information. We have G-force meters too. What's vehicle dynamics? Steer angle see yeah look at that that's pretty cool this this is always fun this is always cool to see this is definitely a big vehicle I mean it's cold outside I haven't really been able to ha test the true handling capabilities but you feel its size but as soon as we straighten out 710 horsepower there's a Buick in front of me but <laughs> and that's the speed limit or a little bit above it's been a while since I had driven a Hellcat. I did drive a Demon last summer. A friend of mine has a Demon, and it was actually, I think, tuned on flex fuel. But this thing in fully stock form, right around 3,000 RPM when you get on it. Oh, the supercharger wide. <laughs> you, can't, you can't be mad with driving this. Well, the only thing you can be mad about is averaging, I've been averaging, I think, nine point something MPG. Um, so that's not brilliant, but you solve that by burning even more fuel. Holy crap. All right. All right. <laughs> Durango Hellcat, cold start. Not obnoxiously loud, just like a good quality of loud. And when you're going, the supercharger wine is awesome. I love it. Of a big Hellcat badge on the side. The red SRT Brembo brake calipers, big two-piece rotors there. The front end has another Hellcat badge there. And they revised the front fascia for more airflow. This is functional. You need a lot of air for that 710 horsepower supercharged V8. I reset the fuel economy when I started driving this. So 9.9 .9 average, which is not brilliant, 
Uh, yes, yeah, so over 161 miles, we've done 10 MPG even. I just finished filming the full review of this Durango Hellcat. Very happy with how it turned out. So uh, a couple things I wanna do. I wanna test out the rear seat space and the third row space. We'll make sure those seats are folded up and a couple of other fun things to show you guys. So, I, But let's hop out. Ooh, it's chilly today, it's like 20s. Uh, let's check out the space in the back. Again, uh, some people complained they didn't know how tall I was, but as context, I am six foot three. The front seat is adjusted to exactly where I would be sitting. And I have tons of legroom. Look at that. That's a lot of legroom there. Spacious, headroom, perfect. Looks like we have climate control up there. And then down here, we actually have heated second row seats, power outlets, captain's chairs, and then the third row. So I've got camera gear back here. If you have the third row, folded up. The rear trunk space isn't brilliant, but I feel like that's the truth for almost all these three row SUVs. Let me move this tripod over. Yeah. All right, third row seat. How well do I fit? Crawling around the back, oh, I'm stuck. Okay, I've maneuvered myself into the third row. I have leg room, whoa. All right, so there is leg room. My knees are touching, but I have leg room. Headroom isn't as great if I lean back. I hit, there's a little like, bevel in the roof where it goes up so i have headroom so two seats back here you'll be able to fit this is a three row three row suv so this is configured to seat six you could have six adults in this durango that's crazy that is just so crazy I'll go all the way to the front wow i need to head to the gas station first and then heading home i have a couple things to take care of finish the review on this thing so make sure you check out the full formal review but that's living with the Durango Hellcat. Takeaways, it's absurdly fun. It is hysterical. The noises this thing makes, the launch control, the power is addicting. Like, I, there's a reason I got 9.6 MPG because I was addicted to just burying the throttle. Rating is, I think it's 12 MPG city, 17 highway combined, 13. So theoretically, I might be able to get close to that if I try to like drive on the freeway some. But again, you could also tow this thing, 8,700 pound towing. You could literally pull your demon to the racetrack with you if you wanted. This thing is hysterical. I'm so, so happy that Dodge made this. Would I buy one of these? Now it's 90 grand, just under 90 grand as option. And even if I wanted to buy one, I couldn't. Apparently they're sold out. The 2000 allocated for the 2021 model year are all gone. They're only building the Durango Hellcat for one year. I don't need three row space of this side, but if you do, like this is hysterical. It takes the regular SRT 392 up 16 levels higher. Like it's, <laughs> it's just absurd. Um, the Jeep Trackhawk obviously would make a little more sense next week. Or actually, yeah, next week we have the TRX. So it's two weeks of back-to-back -back Hellcats. And I'm really, really excited to see that. Cause again, I have a Ram 1500 Laramie with the regular 5.7 Hemi e-torque. It's gonna be pretty cool to see what it's like when it's all supercharged Hellcat monstrosity. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And with that, we shall end this living with the Durango Hellcat vlog as I go and fill up this thing. Thank you, Dodge. Thank you so much.